uh, bought this property back in 1973, there was almost nothing out here. There was, there were no wineries. There were about uh, 1,200 acres of grapes. Uh, this was totally bare grasslands where the the uh, had been they'd been running cattle on that for many many uh, decades and. Uh, we started totally from scratch. We knew nothing, or almost nothing, and we finally got enough electricity to run a, our electric basket press just in time, ready to press those grapes. Put it in some used barrels, and uh, they were pretty nice wines for a couple guys that didn't really know what they were doing. One of the great things I learned in this industry uh, early on was that uh, if I had questions, I could just ask another winemaker because it's it's kind of industry where, and particularly here in a small valley like ours, where uh, we help each other out a lot. We share equipment, we share ideas. That was that way in the beginning, and it's still that way out here. If I have a question that I can't answer or a, problem wine that I want somebody to take a look at, I can still go down the street and have somebody at, that has a better lab than we have take a look at it and give us some support, tell us how to solve the problem. That's been one of the great things about the industry. It's one of the reasons I'm still in it. If you look at the wine industry worldwide, almost all regions are focused on a few varieties. I think if we focus on those varieties that are particularly well suited to our climate, things like uh, uh, Sangiovese and uh, Tempranillo. So we can segue into some of the uh, Bordeaux varieties. I give it about four weeks. 